the low profile mechanical keyboard scene is pretty barren, leaving little to no options for those who are wanting something like this. This is where ROG's offering comes into play. The Asus ROG Falchion RX low profile mechanical keyboard starts at a pretty hefty price point of $170. Inside the box you get the keyboard itself, a wire, a wireless extender, and some stickers and of course the manual. Now what sets this low profile mechanical keyboard aside from the rest is the fact that they pay a lot of attention to the minor details which I really appreciate. Things like the fact that the RGB light is in the center of the switch so the legends of the keycaps are also centered on the keycap giving you the best RGB possible for this keyboard. Another thing is the fact that there is wireless 2.4 Hz and wired connectivity with their very fast wireless connectivity that they have featured on all of their other gaming keyboards. So if you wanted to use this for gaming purposes you could easily do so and still be in wireless mode. So in my opinion it's kind of like a mix of a work keyboard that can also game. Looks wise the keyboard has a lot to offer. I think it looks very sleek clean, minimal, and I like the top bar. The only thing that might turn people off is the fact that it says Republic of Gamers, which might come off as a little cheesy to some people, but I do like the little accents and the RGB that it has when it's on, so I'll give it a pass for that. On the back right of the keyboard, it has a spot for the 2.4 Hz dongle. It has two switches, one to switch it from PC or Mac if you are using a Mac, and you can also set it to wired 2.4 Hz or Bluetooth mode via the switch right next to it. On the top left side of the keyboard, there is one small button that changes what the slider does right next to it. That can change a various amount of things. The best example is to lower or raise your volume. So all you would have to do is click the button till the little volume icon is lit up and then change it accordingly. This is a digital slider and I did feel like the placement being on the back left of the keyboard did make it slightly difficult at times and sometimes it raised it and then lowered it when I was raising it or vice versa. But I really like the idea and the concept especially because it's in such a small form factor and they're not sacrificing on any of the functionality. So you're pretty much getting a knob built into the back side of the keyboard without taking up any space. The only way I think they could improve this is if they went sort of like the MacBook route where that bar at the top actually becomes the slider, which I think could be a very interesting thing if they're able to accomplish that. With that being said, the switches included are the red switches that I got, but they also have clicky. Unfortunately, a big miss in my opinion is the fact that there is no tactile switch option because I think tactile switches are the best for productivity purposes or writing long articles. The fact that that's not an option is a bit sad, but this is a hot swappable keyboard. I don't know if they will be selling low profile mechanical keyboard switches from ROG in the future. Maybe they'll offer a tactile version. At least this kind of future proofs it if they do decide to go down that route. The switches themselves are factory lubed. I didn't hear any pinginess or hollowness like I did on something like the Nufi Air 75 V2, which I do think is their biggest competition in this marketplace. So with that being said, here's a quick sound test so you guys can hear how it sounds. Overall, I think it sounds really decent for what you're getting. And if you're wondering about the feel and stiffness, well, unfortunately, of course, these type of keyboards have an integrated plate. So that is the biggest downside I can say. 
as it does come off as a bit on the stiffer side when typing, but if you're used to typing on chiclet keyboards like the Apple keyboard or any office keyboard, this will feel substantially better than anything like that. Now of course if you compare this to your standard mechanical keyboard, this keyboard may seem very overpriced. But if you are in the market for specifically low profile mechanical keyboards, this is probably the only one I could recommend that you could use right out of the box and actually enjoy your typing session. If you are interested in the ROG Falchion RX, I'll be leaving a link to it in the description below for you to check out. But let me know what you guys thought about this low profile mechanical keyboard in the comments down below and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.